What's the chance you're calling me out? What's the chance I'm a I mean, who spends two hours on the road, gets lost, ends up in the middle of nowhere, directionless? Welcome to the most chaotic vlog ever. You're yeah, welcome to my space, to my returning subscribers, to my new subscribers. And to those who are just joining, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is not even a day's vlog. This is a week's worth of vlogging, guys. I'm currently in Liège, Belgium. I'm at the um, train station. I'm waiting for my train. I have a 40 minute wait for my train to take me to Charlieway, which is where the Brussels South Airport is. So there are like two airports here. The second one is in Charlieway and the first one is in Brussels Central. So I'm in Charlieway or I'm heading there and then I'm taking my flight to Prague. Tell me if it's cash you like. You be acting classy like you don't really want it. You know that I blast you right. You can get it right on sight. If you really want to talk that shit, I'm rooting for your Malibu rum. Five steps from the beach, eh? pouring up some shots. Get me spin. So, good morning, guys. This morning, it's like um, 11 30. I woke up since 8 a.m. I'm supposed to prepare my slides for my presentation on Wednesday, but after finishing my um, assignment, <laughs> I am doing everything on my laptop but complete my slides so I've been surfing the internet like Instagram and doing everything except on my work so guys uh, I'll show you what I bought from Sephora yesterday night I bought it because I wanted to order it before I travel um, from um, from Leuven but the thing was I wasn't sure of the delivery time if I'll be around to pick it up and I didn't know if I decided to ship it to um, Aradret I don't know when I will get it so I when I got, when I saw Sephora, I just took the opportunity to buy it at once. So, um, sorry, I'm looking at the screen because I was checking if this is recording. Um, I'll show you what I bought from Sephora. Um, if you see my hands, this is what I've been battling with for a while. And then my face. This is the first thing I got is the um, glycolic acid toning solution. And it's supposed to be... We're going to open this together, guys. Ah, so here's the cover. Uh, I followed a lot of skincare people on Instagram, like, on, sorry, on YouTube. I subscribe to a lot of channels. So it's supposed to be like this. I think so you can replace this with this. But I think I'll get a spray bottle, a small bottle, so I could use for my body. So according to my research, the glycolic acid is supposed to work to you know for even skin tone um clear out your blemishes i don't have acne good thing is i don't i've never had like i don't have pimples but i have this blackheads like we call them you know the white spot on your face and all of that so this is supposed to help with your skin to tone your skin for the uneven skin tone then i also bought the um uh, hyaluronic acid so the hyaluronic acid is also a good serum like what i was told by the pharmacist i saw and what i saw on youtube so if i'm saying anything it's not by a professional it's my youtube research so this is what the um hyaluronic acid <laughs> this is what the hyaluronic acid looks like and yeah it's a 30 um, millimeter bottle yesterday at the airport they seized my soap so and I have to get soap um, for my body and for my face. And now, okay, I didn't show you. This is the niacinamide. And this is what the niacinamide also looks like. This is also supposed to help for skin tone. And everybody raves about the niacinamide. I follow Hiram. Hiram also said this is good. And Hiram has done a lot of research for skincare. And I'm basically like, I trust Hiram. Hiram is like my skincare skincare guru i am is like a, my skincare professional that i'm not paying for all i have to do is subscribe and get all the information i would this one is the peeling solution um uh, it's um aha 30 percent and bha 2 percent peeling solution it's supposed to be for 10 minutes to exfoliate and clean your skin so apparently while using this you're not supposed to mix it with any other like vitamin c or any other vitamin um serums 
So this is what the peeling solution looks like. And the last thing that I got, I'm just going to put it back later, is so I think in one of my videos, I don't know if I've said it, like I like I said, my skin is lightening up. I don't know, it's because of the weather basically, because I don't I don't I'm not a fan of skin bleaching. I love being black, like I love my skin color. So um but when I moved my makeup products, I had to change my skincare, like my my body cream my body lotion so i even had to buy this micellar water and biodema body cream but i think that for some reason i don't know I'm, my skin is changing i'm just going to show you more so this is it so my skin is changing my face especially but the hyper hyper pigmentation is still there so i needed to get a new foundation new makeup basically but i, I had to buy what i could afford yesterday so i bought the uh fancy this is in 450 it's the foundation this one um has more coverage and then i bought the fenty also matchstick so this is in espresso so this is supposed to be like a contour stick and then this is a foundation so i tried it in the store yesterday before we before i bought it so myself and the um the the store clerk the reception i don't know i don't know what i'm going to call her the sales rep So I was trying to decide if I should go with Fenty, Uda Beauty or um, Dior because um, the stores I went to, the makeup stores I went to in Louvain, they had Dior, Lacombe, Uda Beauty. So but luckily when I got to Sephora, I saw the Fenty so I bought this. So this is what the Fenty Beauty looks like. And So yeah, this is the, I don't know if you can see this. So this is what the contour stick looks like. So, that is everything I bought at Sephora yesterday. I got some free things like skincare products that the lady gave to me. So uh, Basically, I have to like check what I can use and what I can't use in all of this. My major aim is my knuckles, my face, to my skin tone. Uh, I can't show you my news and all of that. Like, I don't know if I can show you. Like, this is what my skin looks like right now. So, so I'm trying to clear this. So, guys, um, I don't know if I'll go out today. I don't know if I'll go out today. But hopefully, I'll see how the whole day goes. Once I finish my slide, I'll see if I can take a walk around the city or maybe just go to bruno i don't know i don't want to make any plans right now okay guys so i want to go to <clears throat> the supermarket it's just like two minutes away from the from the dormitory it's like about three or four minutes away so i want to buy check if they have my bathing soap if they don't have i'll just buy any one i can find and then come back to make breakfast not really breakfast it's more like brunch So guys, I'm going to Bruno today. Uh, hi guys, so I just went to pick up my ID card. My IC card really, um, I don't know, I need to go back and ask her because it's supposed to be my ID card and my IC card, my school card and my IC card, so let me ask. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I missed my the, the bus. The truck stopped me somewhere over there. Some 
went there, but there is no zebra crossing here. So I have to take the underground tunnel from there and then come out from here. But before I got here, the bus just moved. Even while I was just running here, like I was just five seconds away from the bus. Ah, and the other one came, but the driver did not understand English. So I wanted to ask him if I could take that to the station. Apparently, when I would check the board, that bus was going to the station where I could have easily gotten another train. So guys, um, I'm no longer going to Masarek. I missed my bus. I stopped at the wrong stop. The bus, um, so the girl who translated to the driver and um, explained to the driver where I was going to stopped before I did. And then I was wondering why the bus got here so early. And the driver, do he doesn't speak English. So I was just like, okay, maybe because I was supposed to stop 154 and then I stopped 150. So I was assuming that we were early and then I didn't have internet connection. The whole problem of this trip was because I didn't have internet connection and I've been trying to buy data on my lines, like all three of my SIM cards, none of them. I was not able to get it. For some reason, I don't know what's wrong with my app, my mobile app for my um, for my service providers. The restaurant I showed you earlier from outside, I decided to have lunch. So I'm just going to eat. There's a bus coming to Aradret in like eight minutes. I've decided that I'm not going to go with that. There's another straight bus coming in one hour and then I'm going to get to Aradret like five o'clock. So I think that's okay. The old trip was not worth it. So guys, anyway, I want to eat. I want to eat. <laughs> oh. That's where I am right now. If I can't go forward, at least I can go back home. But before going back home, I'll just sit here, eat. And what I will just try to do next is to work on my laptop here. Thankfully, my laptop is with me. I've been reading in the bus. This journey is crazy because it's supposed to take me three hours to Amasari. And I've spent... This is past three. And I've not... No, this is not past three. This is still three. And I did not achieve any single thing. At the end of the day, my friends are they've all gone to work because I, I am late than the time that we're supposed to meet. Anyways, guys, this is what the restaurant looks like. Ah, so guys, I'm done eating. I'm now at the bus station. I'm waiting for my bus. I mean, who spends two hours on the road, gets lost, ends up in the middle of nowhere? directionless it's bola so guys for uh, this old two hours of stressing my life out getting lost trying to go shoot content in masaryk university guys please just hit that subscribe button and cheer me on and cheer me up also so um guys i wanted to show you what the fancy foundation looks like on my face so this is the fancy foundation and what it looks like right now um i actually opened the bottle but for some reason uh, for some reason i want to show you this it's not i don't know it's not um pulling out so i have to open here and i realized that i may have maybe opened it wrongly so i have foundation leaking out and uh, i lost a lot of foundation before i got back yesterday so i'm just going to add, um, apply the espresso contour on my face so this is what it looks like so guys the foundation is really nice it's really nice i'm not disappointed that i bought it so so guys, this is what I look like. Hi guys, so I'm done with my presentation. I couldn't record on my phone, but I made the recording on my... I couldn't record on my camera, but I made the recording on my phone. So I'm going to the dormitory. I have a meeting by 2 o'clock with one of my professor. And after which, I would go back. Maybe I will see if I can make it to Bruno, to Masaryk. If not... I will just go watch movie because I think I deserve a movie at this point. I have tried, like guys, I tried. Like I was up all night. I was up till 
sorry about the noise i was up till like um 4 a.m this morning since like sunday i've been pulling an all-nighter for the seminar and if i do say so myself it went well hi guys good morning i'm done i'm packed and i'm going to prague to see my friends my bus comes in like 10 minutes i have to dash off so that i don't end up running after the bus again and uh, yeah so i'm going to prague and then uh, my bus to poland um guys remember how i said i was early and i was rushing to meet up with my boss so i did meet up with my boss but i entered the wrong <laughs> I was supposed to enter bus 4, I entered bus 27. It was when I was hearing the names of the bus stop, I just took my head to the screen in the bus that, whoa, what's happening? This sounds very strange. Apparently, I was in the wrong bus. And if I had not entered the wrong bus, I would have been at the station at the right time. So I missed my train. Laura Kosha, I missed my train. Um, I have to wait for another one. Instead of going with the one that is 808, I have to wait for the train coming by 908. So I have like about, uh, I had about an hour to wait because I got here 8.11. The funny part was the train was even delayed for like about three minutes, but I didn't get your time. And then one thing about the, um, the trains here is, unlike in, in Belgium, for instance, if you miss your train going somewhere, you could take another train and meet up. Like, it, but here, if you take a train, the cost differs by time so i can't use these tickets to take another train going the same direction so there's a train going to padubise then go to prague but i can't take that train because the price is different from the train going to the same prague from Aradret. so yeah you have to be careful because the control hi guys so this has been the most chaotic week ever this week is supposed to be like a getaway week for me. It was a free week because I was not working, I was not in class. I had my seminar in Czech Republic and I was supposed to like take advantage of the fact that I was free to, you know, vlog and make content because I've been really busy. I've made content but I've not been able to edit them. So I thought that um, while I was renewing my monthly subscription for some of the things that I use, I'll just make all the content I want for this week. Then next week, I only have one class. I will just take my time to edit and upload. But this week did not go as planned. This week did not work at all. My one week, seven days, no, five days get away did not get away. It was chaotic. I spent two hours and 30 minutes trying to find my way and my internet was not working. People that I asked for road, and it was okay, I buried no question, no question, the Czech Republic that when you ask people for a road, you don't get lost. <laughs> the person has not come to Czech Republic because it was really chaotic for me. I spent one hour, 30 minutes in the metro, the subway station, going round circles because this one will tell me, oh, Brenov is this way. This one will tell me, Vepnik is this way. This one will tell me, take a tram going to A. This one will tell me, take a tram going to B. This one will tell me, um, okay, when you go to the metro, take a tram. I kept res restarting my phone. Even I went to call, emergency number 111 i thought it was like you know mtn has like 180 ete has 111 so when i saw 112 emergency number i thought it was the sim card providers only for me to realize that i was calling emergency ambulance service <laughs> welcome to the most chaotic vlog ever i got lost in fact this whole week my masari contact did not go as planned Coming to this <laughs> environment where I decided to nap <laughs> did not <laughs> go as planned. And this boy, let me show you this boy that contributed to me running around in circles at the, uh, uh, the metro station and tram station and bus station. I, I, I this you guy, I, I was supposed to come to Prague. I was supposed to get to Prague from Aradret like 11. Guys, see the time I told you that my train left since 808. Guys, I had an interview today. I don't need to be today. Why are you turning your back? Face front now. One turn your train. One point is I want followers to me. I want subscribers me. One point is I want people to be jaded. I told Dora about that I'll be using a laptop for an interview as the idea of my system will be sounding into the speaker. You know, Dora came when I was done with the interview. See, if you don't know you want to use my laptop, I woke up. Dora, the interviewee or the interviewer, what do they call them? They have to tell me that they cannot hear me. I have to be on up and down to be switching laptops. 
They were well, because you wanted to use my laptop, I left Arabia very you know? early. Ashwaju, you led you 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 threw me off today. Guys, yeah. The idea to, was to the me. idea was to come to Prague early since he wanted to use my laptop for an interview. And then while he's doing his interview, after the interview, we'll go see one other of our friends and, and eat also African gar, food. Also the idea was to go to Ufoma's place. I will eat Nigerian food because he knows that Aladdin don't have all of this. Is it for Eba? It's for Gary. Is it for Gary? It's Bala Blue. I mean, he made me spaghetti. With fish? With Ejakika. No, don't just say fish. With Ejakika. Yes. Like, anyways, thank you guys for, for watching. I'll see you in my next video.